Welcome back, my fellow Crusaders. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalupper, which right now, we are looking at St. Michael, but we are currently in a war against those who call themselves the Anointed. Sometimes the Lord's Anointed, but let's be real, they're only anointed by the devil himself. But let's continue with another focus, Every Man a Steam Rifle. Not bad, but how about we continue with the Shields of Faith? Oh, great description. Here, oomph, St. Michael Better Sons Desk. We got quite a few comments to go through. I decided to go to war with these guys early on just because, or just off screen, there really wasn't much happening. Uh, as you can tell, this guy's getting beaten up quite a bit. Uh, actually, he lost his 146 versus 1,000. 1,600, not too bad. I uh, deployed some infantry over here as well just because, well, these guys needed it, and we weren't training any more divisions because I made these guys 20, the Special Forces 20 combat with, with a single PA division. Uh,. I asked you guys yesterday what we should put on our divisions in terms of special uh, support companies. And yes, power armor support does cost um, basically your special forces battalion. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm pretty sure it does. So uh, actually, let's remove it and look at it again. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, it can be parachuted, but I'm pretty sure this does count for it. So that's why I generally don't use them. I don't mind using them on this certain division, though. It does give you a little bit of benefits, but it really doesn't help you that much, honestly. So, there's that. We're not going to use this either. So, very nice, very nice. Oh, the power armor's actually been defeated a little bit. It's all right, it's all right. Just go and do that some more. If the infantry gets beaten up, it's fine, whatever. So, we've just been sitting here waiting for things to happen. we got some side channel attack. Let's grab some post code modifications. But since we're talking about support companies, I did ask you guys yesterday what we should, what we should use. Well, regarding what we should use, at least for the infantry, I was recommended... Someone did, a few people recommended power armor support companies, but someone also said we should not use them if they use up our special forces cap. At least, I'm uh, pretty sure they do. I'm pretty sure they do. That's why I don't like using them about smithing our weapons first. Our hammers shall sing as our blacksmiths produce more weaponry for our holy crusade. Our enemies shall hear us work towards their demise, and their faithful shall hear the sound of salvation coming shortly. Ah, yeah, platoon training, very good. So, the, the support companies that we shall use on our divisions shall be, as recommended by a few different people, at least demo companies. Also, anti-tank. Fire teams. Logistics. Recon. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Some people recommended we use dogs, but I think there's a little bit more support for us to use the other four, including demo teams in, instead of dogs. So we won't use dogs for now. Maybe the next time we play as Heaven's Gate, we will use dogs, but as long as you remind me to use dogs next time, I will totally be okay with it. Uh, warmonger, not a bad idea. For a nation like us, it's not too bad. We do have some money. We could probably invest stimulus into those people, or into ourselves, really. Let's grab some of this first, actually. Military society, no, we're good. War measures, is this any of this worth it, really? Weekly stability goes down, weekly stability goes down, weekly stability of war support goes down, no, thank you. I would like to raise our stability, though. That'd be kind of nice. Let's grab some of this. Drastic measures don't make any sense to do. Let's grab these two. Not even gonna read them. I like clicking on buttons, and that's what, exactly what we're gonna do. Marksmanship doctrine, thank you. And in a few days, we'll have this rapid prototyping done, and then we'll do some advanced tools. Other comments that are include play as the cowboy country, even though they have a generic focus tree. Uh, let's see, are they, are they still alive here? No, I don't see them. Yeah, uh, that might be a single episode play or campaign, just because they usually get taken out by the Legion, which makes it incredibly difficult. So we'll see what happens. No guarantees, but we'll see definitely what happens. Yeah, we need more divisions on here. Oh, these guys aren't doing very good either, huh? What if we attacked? Because that would help pull in a few more planes, hopefully down here as well. Smithing our weapons, and then we shall do. The river won't save you. Murtaugh has long been protected by High Chapel, but now they're gone. The people of Murtaugh have resisted the truth we bring. But now it is time to cross the river and tear down the world of lies they have built. Muy bueno. And let's grab some miniature circuitry because it's not too advanced ahead of time. And can you guys actually start attacking these guys here? And yes, please. Because I'm kind of tired of just doing all the defensive stuff. Uh, if you'd like to attack, that's fine with me. You can probably bring these guys on to help out as well. There you go. Especially with these guys attacking, I think we'll do relatively okay. Let's begin recruiting an intelligence agency. And I suppose it's that time. Look at the sword. Oh, we've got to go for the sword, right? We just have to go for the sword. Sneaky Dudes is an okay name. But something that inspires fear, purity, holiness, crusading power, something like that. Using those words, what do you think would be a good name for an intelligence agency? Now, you guys usually come up with some great names. Unfortunately, we can only choose one, which I think kind of cool we could choose several different names. Or different branches of the intelligence agency, agency to be called different things. But we're stuck with what we have, at least for now in World of Blues. 
So what would you recommend as a name for the mighty intelligence agency of the Lord's followers, us? Heaven's Gate, on our 10th crusade. Let me know in the comments below. Oh yeah, these guys are doing pretty darn well. At this point, we've got to train more power armor divisions. Someone recommended that we might want to try to maximize these guys out. Hmm, I don't know about that. Because we can only get to... What? Actually, let's cut it down by like... That much or something. 37 and a half combo width, which is okay. And then logistics, or not logistics, but supply hurts us because it's so bad. In terms of supply, so it doesn't make, them, doesn't make sense to make them as huge as possible. So... But these heathens shall pray, not pay, but pray. A lot of our new subjects didn't have a formal education to religion or church service, and now it is time for that. They shall pray, and they shall sing with us, and they shall become faithful followers of the one true God. We get more daily compliance and less resistance targets. What could be better than this? I know what it could be better. Praising to the, praising to the Lord while doing a uh, holy work. We shall call it. Oh, the Exodus. What an appropriate name. You shall perish in your Exodus from the Lord. How dare you preach lies about the gospel. Very cool. Ah, and there you go. Thank you. Beautiful, my friends. So, you guys stack yourself right there. I actually want to use... Ooh, actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to just convert you guys to this anyways. Makes it easy on us. There you go. Because there's only going to be three divisions right there to do anything. And we have a canoe, too. Cool. And no admiral, but now Priest Taylor. Sneaky dudes. Hey, sneaky, 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 sneaky dudes. They're going to be training indefinitely, probably. And I'm still used to having the intelligence button over here just because of so much TNO I play. A mighty step into the future. Very bueno. Incredibly bueno. Hope we can core this area relatively quickly. Now, with these guys, half of them are actually just going to stay right there. Uh, actually, you know what? Make it two. Because it's over river, so that's much easier to defend anyway, so. Sometimes it's very hard to click on that for some reason. Of course, we need more uh, manpower, but that's alright. We will get that manpower soon enough. And what is the... What is this like? High Chapel's looking pretty good. Uh, it's not bad. 0. 0.4, 0. 0.7, 0. 0.1 to 0. 0.4. Tlaloc's demise. Goodbye, Tlaloc. Rest and peace. Purging Eden? Yes. A snake has long been infested the gardens of even Eden, and it's now time for us to get rid of it. We need to integrate Eden more closely so that we have, to, we have control of the other lands of the Lord's anointed in the future. Ah... Cleansed by steam. Are these all cleansed by steam? If you'd like to read about the caravan ambush, go right ahead. At least we can try to prevent this. Or we can pursue them. So Eden is right here. So that's not too bad. 14,000 manpower population core. It's not too bad. How are we looking over here? You're looking pretty darn weak. Not going to the last, son. If we could get some more power armor over here, that'd be quite bueno. Are we out of power? Yes. Ooh, that is why. If that's the case, that is fine. There you go. That should help us out a little bit more. Priest... Luis, thank you. And we shall immediately do some of this. Perfect. And we shall do the white legs and the 80s just in case. Radio interception group. It's going to cost us more money. It's alright. Scavenge vehicles. Demand demilitarization? No, we are fighting for the Lord, my friends. There's going to be no demilitarization here. We can use more manpower, though. Cultural advisors, warmonger. I definitely got to choose warmonger. Multi population. I'll go with warmonger first. Ah, uh, purebred musts. Beautiful. Recon, uh, we do have a little bit of army XP. Let's go ahead and change up some of these guys. We got the cam companies on here already. Which actually, someone, you guys recommended not to use these. So we'll take them off a little later after we get some other things such as fire teams. Actually, there's a lot of support for fire teams and demo equipment, so. And there goes the manpower. Wow. We could really use more manpower. It's alright though. We shall get there. Better doggos. A different breeding program for better doggos. Sounds good to me. Alright, so you guys are looking extremely weak. We need to make more divisions. Hold on. Where is the power armor? Uh, only one? Oh, no, 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 no. There you go. That's better. Ah, there you go. Followed up with cutting down Lone Tree. The Lone Tree has been a constant source of disrespect for us. With their false idols and bad prayers, the reason they existed as long as they did is because they were a gate for new believers to come into our lands. But... Now we have the strength to control these gates by ourselves. And we want to begin coring this stuff rel relatively quickly. So now let's grab who dares wins. Who dares wins, who also prays. 
and sings. Oops, that's that. Uh, that's a button we want. Cool, we have four days. Not bad. Radio interception group. Let's grab the next level, too, shall we? And advanced tools. Let's grab some construction. And... Industrial fertilizer. Lovely. Let's go teach these people a lesson about holiness. I'll let you guys go. I'll let these guys take a lot of the hits. It's totally fine with me. Stim packs, inject us with that good stuff. Uh, the holy stuff. The holy stuff. Only the holy stuff. None of that uh, illegitimate stuff, we'll call it. And dive bombing. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, they tire themselves off very quickly. Beautiful, my friends. And then we'll go to war with Lone Tree as well. Cascadia. Oh, Cascadia. Nice. Oh, Lone Tree. No, this is done too as well. Oh, very nice. And over here, not too much air doctrine. Let's grab some fuel injection. We are going to definitely need to raise the conscription level. Gosh darn it. Uh, funny malicious for now. Cutting down Lone Tree. I think that's a beautiful thing to do, but a new era! A new era has begun. With a political situation dealt with, we are finally ready to turn our view to the outside world. But, first, we need to deal with some ideological questions. Also, I remember there's another comment from yesterday saying that every time, like, he turns, someone like looks at their notifications, I find a new Old World Blues mod to play with. Not all the time. Sometimes, uh, ooh, ooh, that's not cool. Uh, I don't always find new mods, but I, I look often for new and interesting mods, including one that is called the Time Machine USA mod. So I usually browse like, I don't know, whatever they have on the front page of the Steam Workshop, just to see what they're, what's there. So. I'm always on the lookout for new Old World Blues mods, so if you have any recommendations or you see anything new, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm totally open to whatever, and I keep my eyes out on stuff. Because I know there's... Oh, contact loss, that's not good. Oh, no. Uh, there is, I, you could say, a market, I suppose, for people to... For more Old World Blues content, even when the devs can't make everything immediately, you know. Let's go and raise the conscription level. Because 8% is not bad. To your conscription, it just dawned on me. Wasteland Militias, Funded Militias, two-year conscription, four-year conscription. Are those taken directly from, like, Victoria 2? Does everything relate back to Victoria 2 and reforms? Because if it does, that's really awesome. I like Victoria 2 too much. Hmm. Don't know how to play it perfectly, but that's okay. That's part of the fun, right? We definitely gotta get more power on them. My goodness. There you go. Alright. Oh, please don't crash. Oof, okay, there goes Hyde Confederation. Send us some mineral prospectors. Oh, we need to get more money. Where's the next trade note? Are we trading with anybody actually? Maybe not. Um, twenty-six thirty-nine. Game game. Yes, we were not trading earlier. Oh, well, that's bad. A new era. Be joyous. For a new era has begun for our people. After dealing with our leadership crises and the innocent, innocent incident. We are finally united and will face the wasteland stronger together. The children of the gates will see a glorious future ahead of them, for we are the true followers, followers of God. Amen. And so it begins. Oh, look at that. Daily com Even more daily compliance. Nice. The holy waters once again. The preachers of High Chapel have poisoned the waters of Murtaugh with lies and deceit. We should be able to make the waters pure again and maybe get some loyal followers on the way. Yes. There we go. It is time. Dive bombers, let us go. And recon too. Very nice. Maintenance. And that's a little bit ahead of time. I'm not going to do that yet. Let's grab... We're doing this for the Lord. we got to be as pure as possible, so we must inflict as much damage as possible, right? That's the way it works, right? I think so. How much damage are we doing in the air? Not enough. 18, 13, 12, 11? No, no, you gotta keep Pompo's numbers up, son. We could become spy masters. Oh, well, you know what? Let's do that immediately, anyways. Uh, very good, very good. Our losses are in 20 versus a 1200. Nice. Very nice. Ah, oh, yes. Just as the Lord commanded, we shall make more. Be fruitful and multiply, as some would say. Uh, Steam Aiden Miro. Do you have anything for us? Your level 4? That's alright with me. Very good. Very good. Holy waters once again. In which our future. We have to find out where we shall turn our eyes. Pursuit. Next time we will be prepared. How sad. 
quite sad, I would say. Industrial fertilizer, very good. Let's grab some basic small trees, because we can. Of course, I'm of the opinion right now that we do not have enough political power, manpower, all the good stuff, as you know. And I did already get, let's see, the spy master, more recon. Actually, do we even have recon under soldiers? No, 5% more times 0 is usually 0%. Bricks, not bad. Electrical extraction, not a bad idea. And His Excellency Sullivan. Eh, there, there you go for now. Machine assisted decryption, keep going, keep going. Actually, where's the next? The, probably Crow's Haven? Gnosis. Gnosis. Gnosis Vault City, Wendover. Who dares wins? Very good. Let's grab some naval specific manufacturing. Hmm. Actually, Gnosis, is that. Enterprise, is that over here? Walla Walla? Gnosis. Oh, Crow's Haven, Gnosis. They changed the name of that. Um. Hmm. Wendover might not be bad. Our future, though, we need to decide how we want to approach new challenges in the future. Shall we be careful about them, or may take them on, head on? Crushing them before they even pose a threat? Careful. We must become reckless. No question. Our way. How shall we take on this journey? With much vigor and faith in the Lord. Fuel injection and inject us with that good stuff. Cargo planes? Why not? We need to get some more planes going, too. Oh, we're not even doing this normally then. Okay, that that probably makes it a little easier for us. Uh, hmm. Wow, look at their picture. Wow, Mother Magdalene with a minigun. Very fearsome. Oh, they're doing the last down. It looks like. Oh. Very good. Kill your own men off. They deserve punishment for their sins. Oh, wait. New Canaan. Oh, they're down south. Hmm. Ah, lone trees. Very good. Now, I think I might want to take out white legs. Because they have New Canaan and no one else. But we'll get Wendover and no one else. Or, uh, who would I rather fight with a bigger army? ADs or White Legs? We've got to get rid of one of these two right now. And then we'll have to fight the other one when we're done. Hmm. i got to take out the 80s now a little bit. Because we'll have that one, or we'll have that one, and then that one. This one's not too hard to guard. Uh, if we go out this way, this will be a little more difficult to guard. Either way, it's not going to be looking good for us. Hmm. The 80s have claims on this. Which might just... Force them to go to war with us later on. Maybe the white legs are the way to go. 10 up farmers, 37 divisions. No man. Okay, no manpower. All right. Well, they're the easy one to take out, so. Uh, we might have something in our focus tree, though, for regarding this. Bringing holy fire to the golden raiders. Rod purgers. Oh, we're going to go rod purgers first in old country? Build new churches and new forges and cleanse their souls. Oh, we got to go back up north. Is there a trade note up north? Ah, Electric City is another one. That's not too bad. So we will go to war maybe with these guys our way. What do we see when we look into the wasteland? Do we see friends and allies, friendly faces we can rely on? Or do we see sketchy figures ready to betray us the moment we turn our backs on them? We need to decide how we choose to go our way together or alone. We will go alone. Because we must redeem these people. They must be purified. Put you right in the center. I'm gonna drive home right here. Actually, in the meanwhile, oh, we already, oh, look at that. We already maxed this infrastructure out. Well, not here though. And then we'll do all this. Wow, some of these areas are really bad. And in addition to that, go and do that too, and then do some of this, and then go and do this as well because we we'll need that and do that as well. Cool. Destroying the false idols, like the Israelites, Israelites, who are the golden lamb, the people of Lone Tree, made a huge mistake by praying to false idols. We shall teach them not to take God's name in vain again and destroy all of their idols at once. Chief of the Navy, might as well grab them. Doesn't really matter to me. We're just making a lot of convoys. And let's grab some detection and communication training because we can. And we're going to try to speed this up just slightly more so that we can 
achieve the Lord's true justice. Actually, we could probably pair, eh, we could pair drop. I think for this one, because it's all literally just the Washington Brotherhood, I don't want to pair drop. And the range isn't that great. Cargo planes, and this, these are literally cargo planes. The range isn't that good. We could probably pair drop and maybe install somebody. Uh, we could probably cut him off, maybe, but then we would be cut off as well, which wouldn't be very good. Let's grab some list here, why not? Hmm. Hmm, that's okay. Monoplane attackers, very nice, very nice. And then bringing a holy fire to the ghouls and raiders. For a long time, the raw purges in old country have refused to learn the ways of God and even threatened us. We cannot allow these savages to exist next to us any longer. We shall purge them with a holy fire, and the flame shall be a sign for anyone else not to disrespect us, but more importantly, disrespect the Lord. So, there was another comment from yesterday asking, Who is after this campaign? And to be honest with you guys, I have no idea. I'll keep a few things in mind, but it's not set in stone. But I'll find something. I can, I'll promise you that. We will find definitely a little something, something to work with. Where we are going. Oh, you guys are actually put down compliance. Thanks. Yeah, they actually did, did that for us. Nice. Awesome. Scammed with power armor. Hopefully they don't die along the way. We only have 20 some caps every quarter we get. Basic small trees. Let's grab some Adobe housing because we can. Followed up with what? Production policies. We did get was it Lockreed Aeronautics, I believe. I think so. We might as well use that, right? And after this, we should build new churches, probably. Or no, maybe we should do this one instead. No, we'll have to do burn new building new churches. We should build new pieces to pray in our newly acquired territories. And the ones who build them will be the ones unwilling to pay for their salvation. And after they have built these churches, they shall continue to work in our workshops until they've worked the demons out of their system. Sounds like an early purgatory to me. Sure, we'll grab that one too, because we can. Alright, cargo planes might actually have enough range that we can just probably pair drop on their cities and such, but that's alright. Building new churches. Very good. Don't tell me, do I have to manually go to war? Or Oh, we have to manually go to war. What a shame. And here we are, everyone, ready to go to war with the good old Washington Brotherhood. And to put down the infidels for who they truly are. So, the White Legs are taking out Eagle Rock, which is not a great thing, not a bad thing. But we do have to keep in mind that they did join the Legion, so... Maybe in the end, we will go to war earlier with the 80s. Uh, regardless, uh, let's take a look. We're making just a little bit more money now. Not a whole lot. Yeah, I'll probably go to the 80s first. We got rated again. And I've just been sitting here. I haven't even done a focus yet. So how about we do another focus together? And new forges. Along with new churches, we have to focus on expanding our military capacity to take on our next foes, whoever they shall be. We get a whole six more military factories, well. And of course, with the extra political power that I got, I've just been coring a few states here, like the Exodus. Well, maybe I didn't core that one. Uh, Pocatello? Cored that one. Other than that, uh, I got another minister here, too, with Chaplain Reed. More monthly population, better uh, recruitable population factor. So we get about 64 people a month. Give it five more seconds. That's enough time. Let's go to war and see what happens. So they immediately, immediately begin attacking. What a bunch of sinners. You're not supposed to attack other people, Brotherhood. But it's okay. We, we have the justification to purify their sin from their own bodies, hearts, minds, and souls. Even if it may or may not cost them their lives. But they can do that when the Lord, you know, sees them. Or when they see the Lord. Aiden. Hmm. Interrogation techniques, not a bad thing. Let's grab some invisible ink and preemptive interception. Let's grab some night bombs because sometimes the Lord bombs people at night, which sounds very weird, but, you know, sometimes it happens. Let's take a look. 151 versus 2094, not bad, and new forges. And now we have not finished all of the focus tree yet. And I want to do that stuff down there, but let's go underneath the bridge. The twin bridges have always been a resource-rich country, or county, but we never had the manpower to extract these resources. Now we will introduce the first of the holy mines, where our enemies and criminals have the chance to, of making up their mistakes. Yes. Redemption. Redemption through hard labor. I love it. Also, off-screen, I think I made these guys. I did take off the chem companies and put on what you guys recommended were recon companies. So now they got a little more defense, breakthrough, soft attack, hard attack, recon, of course. Uh, slightly, slightly more supplies, just barely some more. It's not bad for, I, I didn't actually realize that this adds with suppression. So we could throw on 
some suppression right here. Oh, not combat blowing, but suppression, which would cost a little bit more support companies, infantry equipment, which I'm totally okay with. I never do this, but we're going to try it anyways. Uh, our plane bombers? Why not? And then tribal hutterinos? Let's grab some construction stuff. Oh, there goes Eagle Rock. And then after pre-war tools, let's see, is that a little, that's a slightly too ahead of time for me. We'll do some brick housing. Houses for the Lord's children, shall we? We shall. How much manpower do they have now? Bayou Motors was annexed, so be it. Invisibly, not bad. T45D production, 5,000 manpower still. We'll be here for a while. They have six, 53 divisions, subsurface propulsion. And they have enough equipment to last a while. So we shall be doing this for at least a little bit longer. Which is totally okay with me. I don't really care. Do we have any upgrades? Father Hughes. The more people the enemy takes out, the less people that we have to take out. I love it. Uh, fortunate leader, yes. That is quite the fortunate leader. We are fortunate to have him as a leader. Uh, yeah, we're definitely doing this to get Electric City and Capitol Hill. I think Capitol Hill is a trade node, right? Yes. And, no, oh, not New Victoria. And West Portland. So we get three victory points or really trade nodes here, which would be a great thing. We're at war, so let's go ahead and grab some more stability and send some power armor scavengers. Not bad, not bad. So war bonds. And they're attacking once again. Let's grab another civilian uh, workshop as we're building more and more roads. We've built up some radar around here. I suppose we could use maybe a few more air bases, shall we? And at this point in the campaign, I suppose we should focus a little bit more on building stuff. But every man a steam rifle. Here yeah, and side equipment, one desk. I love it. But yeah, at this point, I can't remember what I'm going to say now. But the Meldrick has changed the colors. They were a little wider earlier. But Big Queen Mama Mesmeralda. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yum yum. Ah, Expert Hills Fighter. Good, Mother Magdalene. As well as you, Steam Maiden Mira. NCR. Ah, the Legion and the NCR. Hounds of Day Declare One of the Forge is very nice. We shall strike soon, hopefully. How many men have been lost? 12,000. Wow, that's more than I thought. Oh, Port Ma, yes. Of course, it would have put us in a bad position against the Marrow Drinkers, but that's fine. 54 divisions. Less than 1,000 manpower. Look at that. And they're still attacking. We should... Oh, go. Oh, maybe you guys have done that. should have done that a little earlier. No. Well, they have some enemies. They're doing some ground missions. Not too much for us, though. All right, fighters. Let's duplicate a few more here, shall we? And... There you go. Slightly more damage. Ever so slight, slight, slight. Night bombings are nice. And what should we do? Very good. Also, I think there's other commons too. Next time. Oh, Ironmongers. Next time we do a campaign. Or play uh, technically this campaign as someone recommended. Oops, I, we weren't ready to switch that out. Whatever. Uh, actually, I'll get to that comment after this. The Holy Valley is a beautiful place, and what fits best in there? Beautiful resources, of course. The next time we play as Heaven's Gate with this special mod, the Age of Steam mod, someone recommended with their land auction. We should go down the conventional warfare land auction, get all the way to the, basically to the bottom almost, and get mobile fortifications, and then do some refined warfare just so we get the radio and the mobile fortifications. Because multiple fortifications are actually really, really nice. And this gives you more speed if you don't have it. But, I mean, that's not a bad idea. I'll try that sometime. Seems like a fun idea. So are they done and up? It's time to do the work of the Lord. Here we go, everyone. They're out of manpower. 53 divisions. Well, by the end, they're going to have no divisions. Arms Founders, we've killed off 16,000 enemies while at a cost of... Thousands, about a thousand for us. Our plane bombers, not really interested in that, but air soul ships, because we can. We might even make a few here and there. Wow, 50, roughly 50, da 60 damage. Wow, 70. The number keeps going up. We gotta pump those numbers up, son. Come on, let's go, 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 go. Oh, it's going down again. That's alright. You can't always go up. Sometimes you gotta go down to appreciate how high you were and how high you may be going. Ah, 21,000 total dead. Good. Let them meet, meet their maker. They choose to not believe in the one true lord. Uh, Exodus, I definitely want to quarter this. We should be able to quarter actually very soon. Cut a hole, cool. Uh, since we do have some naval XP, thank you. And see, I'm done making military factories for the most part since we already have so many. So many. Cargo planes, eh, not really worth it. Let's do that one first. There you go, and there you go, and there you go. Beautiful. And because we have so much already, we're going to go ahead and donate and get some upgrades for ourselves. 
Uh, how many divisions do I have left? Six, 16. Riches of the Valley, my friends. How about the Hunters of Talache? Hey, in arms, industry, one desk. I love it, and I hope you love it as well. Mm, 7,000, 10,000. How about Lone Tree? 3,000, not very many. Uh, very good. Robotic extraction or scavenger turn triumphant. Very good, very good. Infantry technology bonus. Recall compensation studies. How about some long range optics? Hmm. Oh, Imperial Mexicano. Good luck, son. 13,000. Let's see. 13,000, 3,000. Yeah. We'll probably end up doing this one here. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, I think I made, Did I forget to do this? I for, did forget to do this. Steal some technology. For the Lord, of course. For the Lord. Technology for the God Almighty. There was another... Oh, yeah. I, it was after this campaign. I read that what comment. Did that comment. Um, someone recommends I try out the art game. My friends tried a little bit. They like it, but I don't know. That doesn't seem like a game that really appeals to me too much. Uh, let's see. How does scientific power armor tech work? How does it work? That's actually a really good question. So, basically, when you get that one unlocked, or any scientific... Level it just that just increases the level of which you can research. That's basically all it does. It doesn't give you any immediate hard benefits, at least as far as I know. It just lets you do the next additional level beyond what you're limited by. So, so basically, we were able to go from this level up here further towards this one. Yeah. So we are now allowed to go down this way. Seraph. Oh my goodness. What am I doing? That does not look like Seraph armor, but. Yeah, it doesn't look like Seraph armor, but the image here looks really cool. Roller skates, Baltic PA, APA, APA, advanced power armor. Next up, preparing the armory. Every great nation needs some place in which weapons are produced and stored. It's time for us to build this place up from the old ruins. Oh, are you guys all done? No, you ain't done. No, 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 no. Mother Magdalene, you have still much to do here. Too much to do, some might say. There can be no breaks right now. In time, yes. But the Lord has deemed it that no breaks shall be given until the enemies are cleansed from the earth. After this, uh, let's take a look. Our ascension. Ooh. I wonder what that means. I kind of want to go with... I'll take these guys out next, maybe. A timber line. How long would that take? Too long, of course. Oh, 65? That's actually really, really good. Rotary engine bombers? Might as well, right? <sighs> Two more divisions. Great. Unorthodox interception routes. Grab some detection stuff. Very good. After advanced smelters, let's go ahead and grab some of this as well. The basic generators. Not oh, power armor. Yes. Yes, please. And our vision. Our vision was clouded for a long time. It's starting. It's time to clear it. We must clear our vision. I think now it's time for us to do some wasteland survival training so we get faster just for war goals times. That would be quite delightful, I would say. They have a, literally a single division left. Nice. Oh, we're trying to see some of their navy too. Not bad. How is the war going? Since so they do have the white legs with them. Well, it's going okay. Lannis is still fighting. Uh, not really much to report on it, actually. They are pushing in a little bit, so maybe we should do that too as well. Oh, successful? Success. Yep, some success. Capitol Hill. How about an autonomous zone there in Capitol Hill? Oh, that's ours now. Rest in peace, autonomous zone. <laughs> Kodiak base. Actually, we might need to conquer some victory points down here, so instead of you guys go to Fort Williamette, Bob Ross Island. There you go. Something like that. Oh, we lost the plan. That's not good. All vision. My land has seen many tragedies in the past and will potentially see even worse events in the future, but we need to make a choice what we want to focus on. What do we want to teach our children? Do we want them to remember our past mistakes so they don't make them again, or do we want to look make them look into the future and prepare for what comes next? Our chance of the future? Our mistakes in the past. Now, the past means we want to look back and forgive ourselves and forgive others. 
Our children, though, right now, they need to look forward into the future. They must know what they must do. We must chance on the future, my friends. Our dreams. What do we want to become? Or who do we want to become? Servants of Christ is the only acceptable answer right now. Right? Exactly. We lost a monoplane attacker, which looks like a big old thingamabob there. Uh, this guy should capitulate relatively soon-ish. Especially once you get up here. Uh, where are you at? Go to Mount Olympus. There you go. <clears throat> non ontological bombing, very good. Combat boxes, very good. Ah, Kingsley. I knew I was sending someone that direction would be a smart idea. Watch out for spies, good. Ah, and there we have it, my friends. Direct rule from Heaven's Gate. There can be no forgiveness. Yeah, none. 30 days, wow. I'll be honest, I can't be bothered to do this, so there you go. Nice. Economic resurgence, great. Great, one to snooze. I just put one down and that, that should be good enough. <clears throat> ah, look at this compliance. 100% Lone Tree, 100% down here. What more could you want? Beautiful. Heaven's Gate is expanding, and I think there will be one more episode after this, just to solidify our grasp on the wasteland. Our dreams! When we discover the steam, the first of our kin had dreams. They want to be part of something greater, but what did they want to be part of? Did they want to be closer to God, or did they want to become closer to each other? Closer to God? Each other? Being closer to God is the only pursuit that we can afford. Cleanse us souls. We need to cleanse all those who oppose us, even after we beat them in an honorable duel. Raiders and ghouls alike, they kneel in front of us, and we cannot allow them to take up arms against us ever again. Never. Ah, uh, restore the Naswi, shall we? And invest, thank you very much. New system gear package, rotary engine bombers, why not? Let's grab some uh, range, yeah, might as well. Detection avoidance, not bad. And then we shall grab some of this. Higher fallen heroes. Economic resurgence, great. And the Enterprise. <clears throat> Actually, how much money are we making now? 155? What's up? Pretty decent amount. So we'll take out the 80s next after this. Actually, nope. Marrow. 10 days, wow. Uh, 1,000 manpower, they have up to 100 divisions, basically. Wow, that is a lot of divisions. That actually might be a little bit too much for us to take out right now. Hmm. We'll see. Full armies. If that's the case, that's only 10 days. I could probably take out Bellingham first. I'm going to send just my power armor over there, maybe. Maybe not. Beautiful. Good. Uh, you guys go over here. Coover, very good, very good. And you all come to... We'll go right there. <clears throat> but as we're going to be waiting to build ourselves up. Good. Good. We'll do this as well. Because I want those trade nodes. Or at least Gnosis. Any other thing like that there? Not really. That's fine. Hire foreign heroes, good. Watch out for more spies. You never know who might be watching around the corner. Cleanse their souls, and then we shall do our nightmares. We have dealt with our problems, but what do we take from that? Or them? Ah, we got more cores. Beautiful. Idaho, not a bad thing to do. I kind of prefer doing Burley, though. <clears throat> and then we shall go to war with Bellingham, of course.
Can you guys win here? Yeah, maybe. With a force attack, you might be able to. Strategic destruction is very good. Yeah, you're still losing. Do we not have planes around here? Hmm. Odd. Doesn't matter. They will win no matter what. Coover, thank you. Hmm. I don't want to get involved with these groups. And Bellingham was a lot quicker than I thought. A lot quicker. Not bad. No other upgrades, and that's okay with me. Hmm. We're going to make a massive army here. And that's okay. Yeah. Let's go through one more focus. <clears throat> and we'll call it an episode, huh? shall we? When there were... Where there are dreams, there are nightmares too. We live through some of them. We still fear that some of them will happen in the future. But whatever nightmares happen, we will survive them and we become stronger. So we will remember these past nightmares and we will survive the future ones too. We shall remember our battles, which I want to do in the next episode. We will finish with building the roads. We need to connect our country so that our people can freely move without having to plan every step of the way very, very carefully. But that will conclude today's episode. Tomorrow we will begin at war with the marrow drinkers. And go to war with the 80s and the White Legs and the Legion itself. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. If you did like the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow when we have a final heavenly episode for the Wastes. Thank you very much for watching. And have a great, great, godly rest of your day.